Hi, welcome to clickmeproject.com. Now let me discuss about the title of the process. The title of the process is Towards Detecting Compromised Accounts on Social Networks. Now let me uh, discuss about the abstract objective of the process. In this paper, we present a COMPA, that is the first detection system designed to identify compromised social network accounts. COMPA is based on a simple observation, that is, social network users develop a habits over time. These habits are fairly stable. A typical social network user, for example, might consistently check her post in the morning from her phone and during the lunch break from dis desktop computer. So, the main objective is to detect the compromised accounts in a social network. Then now let me discuss about the abstract of our process. To detect account compromises, see Compa builds a behavior profile for social network accounts based on the messages sent by the account in the past. Every time a new user a new message is generated, the message is compared against a behavior profile. In this paper, we first show that high profile accounts often have well defined behavior profiles that allow Compa to detect compromises with very low false positive rates. However, behavior profiles of regular user accounts are more variable than their well-defined counterparts of most high profile accounts. This is because uh, regular users are most likely to experiment with new features or client software to engage with social network. This variability could cause an increase of false positive rates. We present COMPA, the first system to detect compromised social network accounts. We show that COMP can reliably detect compromises that affect high profile accounts. Since the behavior of this account is very consistent, false positives are non minimal. To detect large scale compromises, we propose to group similar messages together and apply COMPA to them to access how many of those messages violate their accounts behavior profile. This grouping accounts for the fact that regular social network accounts show a more variable behavior compared to high profile ones that allows us to keep false positives low. We apply COMPA to two data sets from popular social networks, Facebook and Twitter and show that our system would have been able to detect hundreds of thousands of compromised accounts. Now let me discuss about the data flow diagram of our process. First our process starts with the data set selection. After we select the data set, we have to load the data set into the database. Here we are uh, using the data set as a, uh, here we collect the data set from the Twitter. Uh, in the Twitter data set, we have some attributes like uh, Twitter information such as uh, user account, user information, user profile information and behavior information and also contextual information, time oriented information of the Twitter tweeted information. So after we collect the data set, we have to load the data set into the database. After that, we have to pre-process that particular data set. So in the data set, we have to partition that attributes in a particular data set. So the attributes has been mm, splitted based upon the two mm, categories that is based upon the behavioral attribute and then contextual attribute. Behavioral attribute is nothing but uh, it is an, uh, related to the records based upon the behavior information such as uh, you uh, user information and also their uh, tweet information, messages, uh, discovery information. Then contextual information is particularly based upon the time in or time oriented information for a particular tweet information for a particular user account. After that, we have to identify the messages uh, which is tweeted by the user. Then after that, we have to apply that uh, uh, transition sequence and then our classifier. We after that, by using that information, we have to classify the compromised users based upon their behavior and contextual attributes. Finally, we evaluate the performance of the process. This is a data flow diagram of our process. Now, let me discuss about the uh, demo of our process. First, our process starts itself home.java. So, you just right click on that frame and click run file. A title is towards detecting compromised accounts on social networks. So, just click on that frame next page will be opened here so browse data so this is a twitter data set this is in data set collected from twitter then click implant so all the information are inserted into the database table then view that particular information tweet information here we have id screen name name image join date url language and location destination designation sorry 
description of that particular information then followers friends updates listed and protected verified lost verified and lost updated the last tweeted date these informations will be displayed here after that here we apply the free processing method here we are unwanted data so it has been removed then after that here we show the informations then click next button so here we um, split that particular tweet information using mentions replace and tweet information number of mentions in the tweet is 134 number of mentions is 56 number of replies or 14 number of retweets are 39 then click next so uh, here we are estimating the probability distribution so by using the formula here we estimate the probability so after that here we are estimating the burst detection system we estimate burst values are detected transition sequence and non burst value will be detected based upon the contextual attributes then click next button so here and behavioral attributes are and last tweet friends list and followers and then context attributes are location last tweet date and join the date so based upon this here we uh, gather some last tweet information friends list and followers based upon this here we calculate the contextual attribute information and next uh, update that in contextual attributes then get so this is the location last date and join the date of the particular user information then here we classify the data so by using clustering mechanism so by using contextual information so here we cluster the data after that here we are going to classify by using probability estimation then click next button so here we predict the ma maximum count minimum count and second maximum count of the users and here here we are using maximum tweet date minimum tweet date and second minimum tweet date of the particular user here we are going to analyze that how many user misbehaved uid and compromised id counts will be there then get their particular user id then our the particular users urls in a particular uh, data set by using the time efficiency here we are evaluating the efficiency here we are evaluating the proposed system and existing system this is a complete demo of process thank you for watching